Welcome to the Friday edition of the Fringe News with Reverend Jeff. Tonight's news has great content, just packed all the way through it, so let's find out what I found, shall we? Well, first up is King Bigfoot Hunt, the full video. Carolina Bigfoot Hunters put out this tasty little video today, and from the start, it hums with professional video all the way through. The expert, the tree knocker, the first timer, the interner, and the Sasquatch Whisperer all hit the field to hunt the elusive beast. Using proving tracking and hunting techniques, they think that they have the formula of solving the mystery of Bigfoot. Check out youtube.com slash motorcycle revival for all their content. Next up is this touching story of young Gus. It seems Gus is going out and he's going to hunt himself down Bigfoot and kill him. Not for fame or money, but because the beast kidnapped his mom and took her away. At least that's what Gus's father told him, and since Gus has no reason to doubt his dad, off on the dangerous journey young Gus goes. Gus is one tough young man though with just a blanket, some beef jerky, and his trusty pellet gun. Gus sets off to kill the beast and bring home his mom. Trust me on this, Gus has much going for him, even much more than some of the experts out there we all know. Grab some Kleenex and head over to youtube.com slash badglareproductions and check out the filmmaker's content. And wrapping up the crypto news tonight, here's the goods I promised yesterday. Phil Poling of the Para Breakdown channel took Reverend Jeff's lead and did a breakdown on the Bigfoot attack video. And once again, there's no reason to argue. I really like this one too, but the videos from this channel have given us reason for red flags in the past. I guess this one was no different. Click on youtube.com slash parabreakdown to listen to his analysis. Now, kicking off the out of this world news tonight, is this a sea monster wash up in New Zealand? The internet sensational clip has already gone viral, but many of you still haven't seen it, so here it is. Some say that this is some sort of throwback to animals of the past, while others say it's simply a decayed orca or killer whale. All I know is they do exist in that area, but whatever this is, it sure is creepy. Be sure to go to youtube.com slash apple daily english to see the entire clip. Now next up is this hovering crab somewhere over London. This thing just hovers there in the sky like a scene out of a movie, but the guy taking a video definitely isn't the star of the show. This video has just hit the net, and it doesn't look like any craft I know of. Just where do the Brits test their experimental aircraft? I don't know, rest assured, it sure isn't over the streets of London. So click on youtube.com slash wow things to see the clip. And finally tonight is the best of who forwarded. That's right. Greg and Dana Newkirk from the whofortedblog.com have set off another new adventure, and they're bringing us The Week in Weird. Yes, that's right, stirring up all kind of crazy fun is this cute couple in their quest to chase monsters. This week's episode brings massive coolness, so I'll leave you with the first couple of minutes of their show. Now be sure to check out youtube.com slash Richter, and check out his latest After Hours podcast with Bigfoot goddess Monica Rawlings, and watch Richter, Tammy, and Steve shoot the Squatch for all a great time. Your Operation Condor message of the night is, that dog don't hunt. That dog don't hunt. This has been the Friends News number 11. I'm Reverend Jeff, and may the Squatch be with you. This week, Bigfoot does his best Tim Allen impression. Lightning heralds the arrival of a strange alien mystery meet, the lucrative business of monster baiting, and more. In this, the first edition of Week and Weird. Hey weirdos, welcome to the very first edition of Who Fought It Blog's Week in Weird, a brand spanking new video series where every week we'll be bringing you the absolute strangest stories from the paranormal and beyond. Now to celebrate the launch, we're giving away a copy of our extremely rare 2011 documentary, The Bigfoot Hunter Still Searching. Now of course you can watch this movie in its entirety for free here on this channel, but it doesn't contain some of the stuff the DVD contains, like some fairly outrageous deleted scenes like this one. Nicole? Yeah, the one with the big boobs. Oh my god, those things are... I, you know what? I don't want to be dirty with her, but I want her to take her shirt up and take that brawl down because... You talk about watermelons, you know? Tim, I think... I just want to see if they're real, that's all. Now there's only 315 of these DVDs in existence, but all you have to do to win one is hit that subscribe button. And next week, we'll choose a lucky winner to send this and some other goodies out to. Now, the weirdest stories of the week. A lightning strike left behind more than a hole in the dirt last week. It left behind a strange smoking mystery. The bizarre hunk of fried alien meat was found in the wake of an electrical storm and caused a speculative clusterfuck when posted to social media. Lightning struck my friend's yard yesterday and left this monstrosity. Ben5195 posted to Reddit, what the hell is it? 
Theories ranged anywhere from a blasted hedgehog to a cluster of fried worms to a momentary dimensional rift gone wrong. But most armchair skeptics didn't think it was a creature at all. They thought it was a koosh ball. Despite having solved the mystery, several other people have come forward with their own stories and photographs of strikingly similar piles of mystery meat. Coincidence? Or do koosh balls need to come with a new health advisory?